Well, when you want to clean the windshield at the pumps. <laughs> that doesn't work. Is it cold out there, honey? No, not at all. <laughs> she said no more winters on the bus. No more. <laughs> I can't feel my hands. I love you. I love you too. You can warm them up on me. grumpy. It's like the fourth stoplight in a row that we've caught. It costs like three dollars every stoplight. <laughs> Four dollars for this stoplight because it's up uphill right afterwards. <laughs> Well, we just got here to the bus about an hour ago. Here's Lenny. And uh, this is Larry. He stopped by to help us out today. And it is very cold out here. And I was saying yesterday, I hope there was no snow on the ground up there. Yeah. Did this come last night or do you think it's been here? Uh, it's relatively recent. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so here's the bus. I just went through everything with the previous owner. He was here. And I gotta tell you, it was a really sad, sad thing to see him say goodbye to this bus. Um, he practically gave it a hug and he was in tears out here. Um, he's uh, just not able to take care of it anymore. He's 70 years old, had a heart attack and diabetes. And it's just, it, it, I think he lost one of his parents and then he lost another one of his parents right after that. And since then the bus has been sitting, I think it's been sitting, I think he said close to maybe 15 years. Uh, and you can see by how sunk into the ground it is that we're gonna have our work cut out for us getting it, getting it out of there. But we'll be able to do it. But we, you're not driving it out of there. You, you'll, that's how, remember that one bus I replaced the rear pinion on because somebody snapped it off trying to rock it out of a hole. Um, the rear end isn't nearly as far in as the front, but that still is sunk in about four inches back here. So we'll have to jack that up. I have a super low profile jack that one of my uh, YouTube guys gave me. Uh, 671, he's got the stop like I need. I want that so bad. Um, this is a beautiful bus. It has Jake brakes. Uh, let's see if I can get this done. Sorry for the video quality there. First thing I did was check in for water in the air filters. So we just, there's almost no oil, but we've had mice. I've only had one of them opened. So we'll get in there. We got to bar the engine over, make sure that it bars over. It's got a couple of nice upgrades. Like I said, it's got Jake brakes on it. Um, it's got this gear driven monstrous alternator on here, which I want to get the part number for that thing. Because if that's still available, that is a great option. Hopefully there's no water in the air system at all because it's going to be frozen. Um, filters and everything look new. The engine oil is in it. It looks relatively new. Obviously we'll need to check coolant levels. Chances are there's no coolant in it at all whatsoever. Uh, temperature swings, hot, cold cycles outside over time. The hose clamps get loose and it usually leaks out at some point. But the bus is super nice and straight. Um, let's see if I can get the wide angle here. I'm wearing gloves. I'm surprised the phone actually works with gloves. So some of the hardest work is gonna be getting it raised up. Uh, we'll start going through the engine here in just a couple minutes. Gotta get the valve cover off. Is there a license plate on the back? Let's go see what year the license plate. Well, here's this one, 2008. So that would make sense then. Um, so it's not as long as he thought. That's what, 11 years? What would have expired in 08? So possibly 12, depending. Yeah, so he wasn't sure. He couldn't remember. A couple extra windows in there. It's got the Greyhound on the dash. He's been polishing the aluminum there, it looks like. He has pulled out the headliner here. He said it had some kind of furry 70s carpet that was always falling on his head when he was sweating. He didn't like it. Um, it's got some of the original seats in here from another bus. But uh, I think it's great. I, I see a lot of potential here. I'm, I'm very excited to see this. And uh, that looks like a really, that's a really nice air ride seat that he's put there. That's, that's about a thousand dollar seat right there. Um, yeah, the tires on it, that's going to be fun. But as good as I can get into the leaf spring right there, and I got an air over hydraulic jack. So, anyway, yeah, he was he was up on it. I mean, he was he was patting it on the nose of the bus, and uh, he was having some words with it. And I, I know how emotional that can be. You know, I mean, our bus is like part of the family, too. So, I, I, I really felt for the guy. It was very... Uh, it was emotional for me just watching it, knowing the relationship that we have with our bus too. So, so before I get extra emotional, I'll let you go here and we'll start tearing into this and shoot some more video in just a minute here. We'll get into the air filters and get that valve cover off. So we're adding air to the bus. We're gonna go see if it's coming up. Well, it did go up a tiny, tiny bit. Got 
the valve cover pulled off and the rack is seized on it. Can't, can't move it at all. So I'll need to pull that off and figure out which injectors are stuck. Um, get them soaking in some stuff tonight. Uh, the engine does bar over. I did this. I can turn the teeth on there so it's not seized anymore. Larry's working on getting the air jack under there, get that low profile one. We got lots of blocking. Trying to get this up out of the ground. That'll be 20% of the battle, I think. We'll have some aero croil to the rescue on this bus. Thanks to another Silver Sides owner, Sage, who donated this to me. Larry's still fighting, trying to get that up on the over there. He's got a jack under the axle. Trying to get it under the axle. He had to move it to the other side. The leaf spring wasn't doing it. So Think you're gonna get it under there? I think so. Awesome. I'd like to get the front done tonight. Okay. Larry's under there. We got this side up. About 10 inches. I'm coming out and you can hook it up. Okay. All right, it's actually snowing here tonight. And uh, we got the front end off the ground. And tomorrow morning we'll run the block warmer for a little bit, get the engine going, and then we just gotta lift the rear end up and then we gotta go through the systems on it. But we made a lot of progress today. It's a little chilly. We're gonna go out to eat. <laughs> 